Welcome to Python, Strings, and Functions. I'm Eric Kamplin, a content developer at Microsoft. This course is a little taste of the Introduction to Python Absolute Beginners course that is on edX. What we're going to see in this course is how to build a scheduler program where we can input a date and an event and the owner of an event and print that out to the screen and we can enter a multiple of those. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the course. We're going to learn a subset of the um, items that are in the edX course, like we said, and we're going to do that in Jupyter Notebooks. We're going to learn how to create uh, our Python code in a Jupyter Notebook, which is an uh, open source project that allows you to code within a browser window. And we're going to do that on Azure, and you can get a free uh, subscription to that, and we can uh, edit within those. We're going to learn how to work with types and variables, as well as how to uh, combine numbers and strings with uh, addition. And we're going to get user input. And then we'll also learn how to format that input and build all of that into a function so that we'll have some basic Python skills that we can uh, apply to our future learnings. So this course is not really going to be a course about uh, elegance. We're not going to learn how to write beautiful code. We're going to have a large helping of brute force. And so uh, this is really to help you get uh, familiar with and comfortable with some basic uh, Python concepts. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's uh, covered in the full course. So you can go to the edX site and you can look through and you can see uh, what we'll learn and uh, even go to the uh, full uh, course if you sign in. Um, then you can browse the course, but you'll need to sign in and create a, a contact first to do that. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and so this is the full course. We can see everything in here. So we saw what we're going to learn in the course, but let's look at uh, what's covered in the course in full depth. So uh, first of all, the course has a lot of depth and practice within it. And so you are going to be able to try uh, each of the activities with lots of uh, code examples and lots of practice problems. Additionally, uh, we're going to cover Boolean and Boolean string methods. And though, so Boolean is that true falseness of uh, computer code where you can make decisions and figure out uh, which direction you want to go. And along with the Booleans, we use comparison operators to see if two things are equal or, if, or not equal, and which would give us a true or false. And then those other symbols, you can see the greater than, less than, and that last one is a not equal to. Also, we're going to, uh, in the full edX course, go through conditional statements. So that's your if, else. And in Python, there's a, a term called L if, which is an else and an if together. You'll learn how to make decisions in your code and how to make sub-decisions. Nested conditionals allow us to make a sub-decision. So once we've asked a question, so we could ask uh, what the temperature is outside, then we could ask also, is it raining as well, or is it snowing? And then that, and we could ask questions below that. We'll also learn how to work with different types of data and change between those. So you might have something represented as a string, which we'll learn about this course. You can turn those into numbers, and we'll learn also how to do advanced formatting using things called escape sequences that allow you to put line breaks and uh, tabs and other types of characters that aren't easily represented on your keyboard. Also, we'll uh, work with basic loops, a while true loop, also known as an infinity loop, and uh, the Boolean while statement so we can keep doing something as long as we uh, have the problem that we're testing for and we'll learn a lot more in the full edX course and that's Introduction to Python, Absolute Beginners on edX. What we're going to build, this event scheduler, and this is just going to show us what we're going to end up with when we're done with this project. 
So here I am going to call an event scheduler, and don't worry if you don't know much about Python or Jupyter Notebooks, we're gonna get into all that. We're just gonna kind of show where we're going with this. So this is a Jupyter Notebook, and I can type code into here, and I can run the code uh, by running a cell, and it starts running the program for me. So I have a function called scheduler, and it's called that, and then it asks me to do some things. So let's see what we're gonna build here. So I'm gonna put in someone's name in here. So this is, I'm gonna put in Alton, DeRosa, and then when is his event? It is in December. 2019, and what time it'll be, it'll be at 3.30. And then the title for that is gonna be Python Study Group. And so I've entered all of that in there, and then I've stored it in something called event, and then I can print out that event. And then we save the scheduler information in a variable called event, and we can print that out below. And we see that we have our Python study group, and that Alton is the owner, and that it'll be at 3.30 on 12-12-2019. So we're gonna get ready now and build our uh, project. We'll learn about strings and input and building functions, and I hope you'll join us.